How to create upsells on Shopify post purchase upsell tutorial. What's up guys? My name is Kraus and in today's Shopify tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully add all sorts of different upsells onto your Shopify products. So no matter if you do want to add a post purchase upsell, a one click upsell and so on, I'm going to cover everything in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started, simply just log in onto your Shopify dashboard or you can also use the link down below to sign up for a free Shopify trial. Either way, just head over to the settings right here on the bottom left and then navigate to apps and sales channels right here and open up the Shopify app store. So right here you will then simply just have to look for upsell and then you're going to have a lot of different options. Basically all of these apps are going to do the same thing more or less. However, I actually did some research and the app that in my opinion makes the most sense is going to be this after sale app right here because this does have a completely free plan available as well as a 30 day free trial. And in general with after sale, I, I've also seen this on my stores, you are going to see a quite significant significant boost in revenue. So actually to get started, simply just install this onto your store by clicking right here. Then make sure to let Aftersell get access to all of the data that they need. So just click on install right here. And then this automatically is going to be installed onto your Shopify store. So as you can see right here, this then going to take a couple of seconds. And now we are going to be redirected to the Aftersell dashboard right here. Simply just continue to Aftersell. So just click this button right here and then you are going to have the option to actually go for a 30 day free trial. Now I would recommend you to do this just because this is actually going to give you 30 days to test this app and to actually see if there are going to be improvements and after these 30 days you can then either cancel this app or you can continue using it if you have actually seen a spike in revenue. As for the industry, I'm just going to say, I don't know, apparel, this doesn't really matter too much. And then I'm going to click on create first offer. Now, by then using this app, so let's simply just wait for this. Now, first of all, as you can see right here, we will have to go into the settings to actually enable after sell as a post purchase upsell option. So to do so, just click on enable settings right here. And you're then going to be redirected to this setting right here, where you will have to simply select after sell and then make sure this is really important. Make sure to just save this. Okay, then you can head back to your after sale dashboard. And if we're now going to refresh this, this is going to be available right here. And we can now set up our first funnel. So to get started, I'm just going to click on edit funnels right here. And then I'm going to create a new funnel for our store. So in this case, I'm just going to name this example funnel. However, obviously you would have to name this dependent on what kind of product you want to promote, what kind of upsells you do want to do and so on. So first, then secondly, you will have to actually choose if you do want to get started with a template or if you do want to start from scratch. Now, I would actually recommend you to simply just start with this upsell machine template as this is basically going to do most of the hard work for you. Now you can then actually also customize this. For example, you can add a maximum discount right here. So I'm just going to do 20 right here. And as you can see, this basically then automatically generates all of the different upsell variants, all of the different incentivizers and so on. So as you can see, upsell number one would be that customers will be offered one more item of what they've just bought um, at 10% off. Upsell two is that if the customer accepts the first order, we will automatically recommend multi-product offers of four products with 20% off. And the downsell is if the customers then declines the first offer right here, we will give them one more chance to accept the same product, except this time they do get 20% off. So as you can see with this option enabled, this is basically going to get you the most amount of sales as possible. And basically right here, you can then for, for example, if you're going to click on this, you can see all of the different options. You basically, as this is a template, all of this has been done automatically. However, let me now also show you how to set up a custom post-purchase funnel. So to do so, just click on add funnel right here. 
then select start from scratch and then you will actually have to go ahead and select a trigger right here. Now in most cases I would actually recommend you to simply just show this for all of the customers. However you can for example enable a custom language trigger, you can also enable a quantity trigger, a variant name trigger and so on and basically these triggers are just kind of the starting points I guess for your automation or for your funnel. And then right here, I'm just going to select show this funnel for all customers. You can then click on save and exit. And now under click, basically under the one click upsell option, we will then have to set up our, or basically our custom upsells. Now in this case, upsell number one, we can then say that we do want to set a single product right here. We can say that this should be either automatically picked or we can also upsell a specific product or we can upsell the most expensive in cart, least expensive and so on. So basically you will have to customize this depending on how you want to structure your store, depending on your own margins and so on and we can then also edit this offer. Now usually by default even if you aren't going to give any basically any discount onto your product this is also going to significantly boost the revenue of your store but I would actually recommend you to also add a discount onto this as this is even more going to uh, actually up the amount of dollars and up the amount of sales that you're going to get and then if accepted or if declined you are then going to have the option to basically create these two basically this upsell and this downsell right here. So I will actually just save and exit out of this and then I'm going to click on edit page and now we can then even customize this thank you page. Now the same goes for this one click upsell uh, page right here. We can customize this, we can change up the different kind of texts right here, we can change up the discount settings. So if you do want to give let's say 10% off, this is going to be shown like this. We can also basically set up the image settings, the button settings right here, we can change up the uh, button text, the button uh, font essentially, the color, we can also change the button position and basically right in right here we can set everything dependent on our own likings. As for the padding we can also change this around and so on. So make sure to just customize this depending on your own store and depending on your own brand colors and so on and once you've successfully customized this simply just click on save right here on the top right then opt out of this now if we're now going to save and finish this, as you can see this funnel right here, we can then actually also enable this. However, I will simply just go for this test funnel and then under the after sale dashboard right here on the left, we are then also going to see a general analytics overview of all of the different kind of revenue boosts that you actually have made through after sale. Then as for the order browser right here, you can then see all of your different orders and so on. So let me now show you how this is going to look in action. To do this, I quickly just enabled the test payment options right here under Shopify payments. And let me now place a test order for you guys to actually display how this is going to look like. So I'm just going to use this oversized zip right here. Then I'm just going to click on buy with this right here. Okay, uh, actually we don't want to do this. Rather just click on add to cart, open this up right here. And then I'm going to click on check out. And now as for the actual option, I'm just going to simulate a test order for this. So I'm just going to name this as for the expiry date. I'm just going to do something like this. Security code, let's see what do we need to... Any three digits, okay. A name for card, I'm just going to put in Elias Krause. Then I just added some random delivery information right here and I'm then just going to click on pay now and this too should then actually automatically redirect me to the actual upsell product page right here. And as you can see, once I've now placed my test order, we do have this limited time offer upsell right here. So we can then either basically accept this or we can decline this. If we are going to decline this, we are going to get an even better bonus. Basically the customer is going to get an even better bonus so that they're actually going to buy the upsell. However, if we are simply just going to accept this, this is now going to redirect us to our shop. And now if we are going to add something onto our cart right here, as you can see, there is going to be an automatic discount for uh, basically 20%. In this case, 11 bucks right here. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.